Hello and welcome everybody, this is uh, ZT37 and today I'm going to uh, unbox this um, well, Zentis Marzipan 175 grams uh, this is a very nice specimen that I got um, sent over after the Christmas season um, it's a it's a very nice pack you can see on the on the uh, on the packing on the package there's the the, the the logo of the company and there's two um what are those called uh, uh, you know um, hang on what what is this in English anyway let's let's look it up uh, it's um, yeah uh, almonds yeah right almonds these are two almonds because as you should know if you like marzipan then you should know that marzipan is made out of almonds it says uh, here um, uh, seit 1893 that means this company exists since 1893 which is a pretty fairly long time as we can imagine it says um, it's made in Aachen if you, if you don't know the uh, Aachen this is a town in Germany uh, they are they are um, known for uh, they are in the pretty much in the in the west most westmost city in Germany probably uh, it's near Cologne um, uh, they are known for uh, what are they known for anyway I don't I don't quite uh let's look it up they're known for i don't know something apparently or maybe for the great marzipan there hey, this is 175 grams um this is important because that's the european product so that's uh this is in a metric system uh this is cacao right here we unterstützen den nachhaltigen kakaoanbau okay that means they uh, they support um uh, they support uh, uh you know oh, I've got, i'm missing all of these words right now uh but um they support that the cocoa cocoa how do you pronounce cocoa cocoa uh, agriculture is um actually sustainable you know uh, that's the word that i was looking for all right let's look at the back it says different ingredients where is the English version? There, there is not an English version down there. What is that? I mean, I could write the Netherlands dish. Or what is this? No. That's strange. That's German. It's Netherlandish. It's Czech. It's uh, what is that? I don't actually know something of Eastern European language, but there's no English anyway but um yeah this looks really nice and well packed it's actually kind of a leftover from the christmas season because uh, as you might know marzipan is very popular during christmas it's uh, nicely sealed so that i know um that nobody has opened it up and i don't know put poison inside and i will take a bite and die let's uh, open her up shall we so let's get this thing open all right come on Mm. It, mm, it already smells very very chocolatey you know look at this what I can do is just pull this up <laughs> that's very funny and oh my god oh my god look at this look at that thing uh, yeah that's the the piece of, of marzipan and the chocolate um, it's very it's, it's like dark chocolate is hang on let's look at the packaging do we find the English version here they really haven't put one on there this is ridiculous how do international people want to know what's in there anyway let's uh, forget about that um, so it's it's dark chocolate uh, um, and inside of this there is the uh, hidden marzipan that we want to reveal very shortly i'm going to take a look at this um uh, if you i don't know i've heard that in the states it might not be as easy to get your hands on one of these but um uh that's uh, uh that's a pity because it's actually quite i don't know it, it, it's quite heavy uh, I would say it's about uh, 175 grams in my hand. 
roughly, perhaps. And um, it's already it's got a few cracks on there. I think it's it's just let's uh, you know let's let's try her out, shall we? Hang on. Mm. Oh. Mm. Actually, pretty good. Oh, I would rate it um five out of five marzipan logs. Mm. Um, and you can see here, this chocolate is actually based around the core. Please excuse my very crappy webcam. You can donate to my Patreon if you want me to get a new one. Now this is the core of the the, the log, and it's full of actual marzipan you can, I, I don't know it's um, I, I may, maybe you can even make a flute out of it I don't know maybe if you want to play it uh, but yeah it's it's pretty cool uh, so this is um, good and uh, what I always like to do is peel off all the little chocolate pieces around there and um, in the end that leaves you with uh, with just a piece of pure marzipan mass and you can actually form things form things like uh, marzipan potatoes out of it these are very tasty things and you can also like squish them and mm. I mean this is a bit like these guys right over here um, Centis Marzipan Kartoffeln UTZ certified. Oh, that means that they are have the sustainable cocoa thing, and there's the, the fruits again. That which name I forgot. This is actually does have them. Um... No, it still doesn't include an English version of the ingredients. That's ridiculous. Oh, how can you be so ignorant? Um, and these guys right here. We should take a look. Hang on. Ah, damn it! I wanted to make it a popping sound, but we have it. We're, we're prepared. Let's just uh, hang on, give it a try. So these are these guys. The marzipan kartoffel actually means literally marzipan potatoes. And these are these guys right there. They are covered in like chocolate powder, I think. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure to be honest. And if you bite them off, mm, this tastes like five out of five potatoes. Um, um, then this is the center. Here is also marzipan. Um. All right. Uh, so this is my review. My no, my, my review. My unboxing of these marzipan products. So if you like marzipan, then. Maybe you just want to give them a try. That's very good. And um, I'm looking forward to my unboxing tomorrow, which will be uh, um, which will be um, a piece of licorice. All right. Thank you very much. Goodbye.